Okay, so while he's thinking about that, if that is what you mean, if you if you mean that the amount of ability of experiencing your experience gives you inherently more value, I mean, then you have to go into the semantics of defining how you experience more and defining whether or not an ant experiences more or less than you, which you haven't done, which was my original point, actually. Yeah, it kind of just circles back to, like, your original question. Wait, sorry, I, I can't find this. Who, who, uh... The definition he what's, gave... The I typed, definition what's your he idea gave, of... He typed moral value equals capacity to experience well-being. Capacity to experience well-being um, throughout the entire court, throughout the entire duration of the conscious entity's existence. Hang on, my neighbor's and, dog just got out. I gotta go get it. Okay, it's it's two different things. It's that married to another thing. So it's basically conscious. Um, it's 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 the quality of conscious experience over the the entire duration of a conscious entity's existence, coupled with that thing's. Um, capacity to influence other creatures well-being wait but, um, wait, but there's something strange there because it seems like animals who you're okay with eating have a substantial amount of that right whatever that is here, it seems like they have here, it. here's my primer. so why here's why is it yeah so why is it is it because it's necessary or something or is that what you're trying to do? is what necessary to kill farm animals no, I don't think it's necessary. What I think is that um, I, I'm not fully convinced that it's even the humane thing, the most humane thing to do to um, basically allow them all to exist in the wild. I, I don't... Now, some, some of them would ultimately die off, of course. Like, so Wait, what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Are you implying that vegans are trying to prescribe that? prescribe them yeah like do you think vegans just want to release cows which can't exist in the wild into the wild no i think that um i th so there are certain uh species that would go extinct well you know yeah that would essentially go extinct if we were to fully commit to veganism and i'm sure that you you guys agree with that so for instance well, we, yeah extinct. we yeah we created them they can't exist yeah, in the yeah. wild. Yeah, they have to exist in sanctuaries or and, and so you at all. think, and, and so you wouldn't view that as being tragic. We created these species with horrible genetic uh, dispositions, like sheep that just grow so much wool that they need to be sheared. Rather, in the in the wild, right? They their winter coat just falls out. Uh, oh, cows, okay. can, can, can cows make sure we all agree produce on it? so much fun. milk that they need to be hold up. Cows produce so much milk they need to be milked, otherwise they can get mastitis and, and actually die from infection. Chickens yeah, yeah. growing so fast that their bones break under their weight. Like, why would it be a tragedy? I mean, we created these species tragically, right? So why would it be a tragedy to just stop breeding nope. them? No, then no, again, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say. That. Sorry, let me just say something really quick. I um. I, I, I'm aware of all of that, and I wasn't saying that it would be a tragedy. I was asking you if you thought it would be, because I'm trying to see if we all at least agree on the fundamental premise that essentially suffering is bad. We all Do we all agree on that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Suffering, but I would also add exploitation as well. Well, I think that exploitation is only bad insofar as it produces suffering. Do you agree with that? uh no not necessarily is suffering t suffering meaning pain meaning the full range of negative emotion i don't think those things collapse i think okay. if an animal is born to be expo exploited or whatever, okay, whatever well, is it i'm sorry we, no, I'm not some English. of you guys it's came into this conversation hey, white rabbit are you still there i am Okay, because so, many of these people came in after we had this very long discussion well, that's, on morality, that's so many we of them moved. aren't actually even informed on what I think fundamentally about morality. So, right. So let's circle back to the original topic question. Okay. Okay. Can I just? I just want to make sure. Do you? Do you guys all agree that? Do you agree that suffering is worse than non-existence, and that well-being or no. pleasure, whatever you want to call, it, is better? Not just in suffering, but in non-existence. So, so better. So, 
suffering is worse than non-existence and a yes. positive All else life being equal, is, you know, so. is more is better than non-existence also non-existence like as in things. like like being killed and then not existing or never having ever existed or like going extinct extinct in like a natural way well i'm talking about at any point in time for any existing entity is is what like so for instance um let's say uh it was someone in some you know equivalent of hell let's say um let's so let's say you had some human or animal or whatever and some equivalent of hell um and this thing was basically going to be permanent somehow um and would you would you agree that it would be better for that thing to just basically fall into non-existence than to continue in that state forever well this not is, if it's like well, hang on. This, is a false, this is a false equivalency no i'm I'm trying to I'm trying to establish whether you think right, that all right. else being you're equal. trying to establish a false equivalency. Okay, elaborate. Like you're saying that in this hyperbolic hypothetical, something's experience is just infinitely negative. So yeah. would it be better to not exist as opposed to living in an infinitely negative experience like yes yes just and i'm ridiculous. just trying to see if you got... but you well, also are equivocating that not living in that experience is better than not existing separate from your your statement about <laughs> living in an infinitely negative experience dude like that's a false but, equivalent but the... dude you're you're it... What, you're making what, where, equivocation. Really you're like, oh yeah, to it's better with... to exist than not exist if it's good, but not existing is better than existing if it's bad. Like, ooh, spooky. <laughs> but no, but it's actually relevant because we can't even it's agree not. on It's not. The original question was, you can't agree on whatever the fuck you think you can't agree on. You're asking us what we agree. You're trying to change the subject. Do you think you're superior to an ant or not? No, but I was going to get back no, to that. No, no, just... no, 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 don't. Just answer the question, dude. I, I did answer that. I said that I believe that I'm more valuable than one, yes. Why? Because I believe that the richness of my experience is superior. And why I believe that is because for one, again, there are many different reasons, but the one that you never, never let me finish them. elaborating on was that when I... My the the richness of my experience declining, I can actually correlate significantly with certain declines in my cognitive ability, with certain declines in my intelligence. And likewise, if I can therefore infer that 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 some other creature is significantly less cognitively capable or intelligence than or intelligent yeah, than but your pre your presupposition is that your inference that you are more intelligent is fucking like based on your feelings dude but no, no no you can we can we can define anything in any way that we like you can sure, say we can but you? that doesn't help conversation no but, but my You're not point being is a part that there of the discourse better and worse ways just of defining define things however you want there are better and worse ways of selfish. defining intelligence so if something is smarter and more intelligent it's more valuable <sighs> not necessarily i think it ultimately comes down to capacity for experience just how how bad can things get for that creature and how good can they get and how likely is it for it to be for it to fall in one direction or the other how likely um and we make these same considerations in our own life like i was telling um white rabbit earlier so i had a, a grandmother um who basically had she had had a stroke and she wasn't comatose, but basically she had lost much of her cognitive functioning and she couldn't even communicate with us well enough to be able to articulate to us whether she thought that ultimately she wanted to continue going on or not continue going on. And we kept her alive basically for a handful of years. And 
you know, partly under the assumption that eventually she would maybe be able to actually communicate to that to us and then we could feel better about making the decision but ultimately we had to just, we had to de- we had to make the determination ultimately like okay so is it worse for us to keep her alive not knowing ultimately what she wants and not knowing how much suffering she's in but seeming to to notice it to some significant degree not being able to know for sure but having a lot of decent uh, ability to discern that is it better to do that or would it be be better for us to essentially do the equivalent of pulling the plug on her and ultimately after a handful of years we made that decision. and if I were so skeptical in my ability to evaluate the conscious experience of another person or another thing then I wouldn't have felt comfortable doing that but the whole problem is that there's danger either way you can either be submitting someone to a so, terrible life on. or so you, you or, just finished your anecdote right and and you even said that if you weren't so sure about your ability to assess another person's like value of existence then you wouldn't yeah. feel okay with doing that so yeah. back to the like that back so, to the end Oh, yeah. Wait, no, so no, no, hold on. Back I want to, to hear what the you was No, yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. So back to the ant. How, how are you able to evaluate that you're better than an ant outside of your own, like, presupposition? Well, how was I able, to, again, how was I able exactly, to evaluate the Exactly, through your own experience. presupposition that you are capable of valuing another person's experience. Or and also, I mean, do you think that I wasn't experience? capable of, of doing it there, that I wasn't sufficiently capable? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. Then again, with your grandma. But okay. don't you, I don't know don't, anything I think we can all agree on the fact. I barely understand what, like, happened. She I think we can stroke. all agree on the fact no, that is... That doesn't matter, though. Sorry. It does ahead. matter because it relates Even... to... Sorry, yeah, go on. Yeah, if an ant is born, okay, back back to, the, to like the ant, um, like your your grandmother, okay, she could not like tell you she was probably suffering, but it's something different than killing an animal or an ant that's uh, completely healthy. And I think we can all agree on the fact that a healthy animal would prefer to live because they know they have an instinct, they want to survive. So yeah, that's but that, like... the problem is we can't even get to that because we haven't even established whether it's possible for a human being to have a reasonable for a human being to believe it to be reasonable that he has the capability of assessing not perfectly but at least reasonably well the the quality of experience of something other than himself i, I mean yeah, but it does that, want to live like it has okay, to drive here, to live here and that's got enough a, i've got a great great thought exa- experiment okay okay if you met somebody and they had a terminal illness and you know that the illness they have will kill them. And they know the illness they have will kill them. Okay? And they want to die. And the only way they can die is if you tell them, yeah, you can die. Like, you have to give them permission, and then they can die. Would you give them permission to die? And they're willing to die? Yeah, they're, they're going to die. They're living in pain. They want to die. They're asking him for permission directly oh okay wait what well, i i for some reason am the one in control of deci- like what do you mean do you, they want yeah, me yes to, literally in this hypothetical you are the one who makes the decision it is up to you and they can't make the decision themselves no they they have made the decision they need you to also make the decision like a like a dead man switch or some something it's a hypothetical if I'm in a hospital, in this say, hypothetical, I'm you are literally you the only person who can make their wish a reality. You are just the only one that can make their wish a reality. Can I ask how this is like? Where would the I do that? Yeah, most definitely. And and yeah. So you would do that, okay? Most definitely. So, let's say that there is a cure to their terminal illness. One hundred percent, they will be cured. They will be in no pain, and they will live much longer they don't know that you don't know that will you make that decision oh wait, wait. we both know that it's a possibility but no we nope nope 
Okay, say it again. You you don't know that there is a perfect cure. Let's say you're in a third world country. There is a cure to whatever is ailing this person, but they want to die, and you have to give them permission to die. You don't know that this cure exists. They don't know this cure exists. It exists, though. Are you still okay with letting them die? But that, that doesn't really make sense because you're telling me that I don't know, but yet you're telling me that it does exist. Like, I, I, like right. it's, I don't see how to reconcile those two things. I mean, if I didn't know it existed, then I couldn't make any determination based on that. If I did right. know it existed, then... It ch- I, exactly. I, is, is, is anyone else confused by this? I, I, it's not confusing. It's just it like okay. It's an it's a good example because it it shows that you can. But you're telling me if you not knew know that something. you didn't. It, right, I'm you... telling you in this hypothetical, medally outside of the hypothetical, that the you in the hypothetical does not know that there is a cure. But me outside the hypothetical knows. Yeah. That's fine. You can't do that. That that doesn't actually what, you logically can't, you, work. What, you don't know how to work through a thought experiment by not fucking, one like, like that. You can't separating one yourself entirely logic. from it. Wait, hold Why on. Not? I gotta ask. Uh, is White Rabbit still here? Why do you keep going back to White Rabbit? Bud? Because He's we had a good conversation you. earlier, and this is just striking me as madness. White Rabbit, are you still here? You're like Alice. Is he still here? I was I away. Was I, I think I think that the can, really can you relevant that to him? Tell him, tell him t- White Rabbit, does this thing make sense to you? Hey, t- tell him what you just told me. I, I was actually here. asked this question um, <clears throat> many months I, ago. I feel like he just proposed to me something that's that's just a logical, I, contra- a logically I, contradictory. So I was not here not. right now, but if he w- will repeat what he said. Oh, okay. He, here, well, have him repeat it. Uh, Whoever told who whoever proposed that to me tell uh, just say it again. Okay, White Rabbit. Yes. Just propose it to him. I'm as though... just gonna do the exact same thing that I just did. Yeah, ask him the exact if, same thing that you just asked me. If you were presented with an opportunity where you can give permission to someone to die. And this person has a terminal illness. And they are living in pain. And the only way for them to die, as they are wishing, is for you to give them permission. Would you give them the permission to die? I would. You would. Okay. So, let's say, in this hypothetical outside of your knowledge and outside of this person there, there is a cure or something there is like a cure for that what ails them that will 100 percent cure them of what is going to kill them and is causing them pain would you still let them no you forgot to say but in the hypothetical you don't know there's a cure he doesn't know i did say that <laughs> okay with, if without uh, as without long as i don't knowledge, Without their knowledge, neither of you know, I said that. That is a part of the hypothetical. Yeah, so said- as long as I don't know it, I would still kill the person. But the moment I know that they are secure, I would not kill it. Sure. But, but does okay. it not make sense to you? Because he's asking you to consider this thing it that he's saying. It sounds like in the he hy- understands it. I mean, he still would make the decision. It sounds no, like I don't you think just he are trying to he's avoid it the way that I making if- the same decision. He's not, though. He, he's saying, yes, I would still make that decision regardless of the fact that I don't know that there's a cure. Yeah, because the thing is, there are always things All you we can know. operate on is, is what we... So, sorry, yes, there are always you. things you, you don't know. And they, yes, I did not consider it initially that there could be a cure. But if, to my knowledge, there is no cure and I consider myself an informed person and all that, then I will make this decision. Yeah, and that's um, the same way... That's yeah, the same right. way that that's, I would put it. No, no and I, I, you know, and that's that's one hundred percent like um, uh, intellectually honest. You know, you're you're sticking by no, your well, belief system. What I would and say... I appreciate you, White Rabbit, for for having the integrity to maintain your thoughts 
regardless of new information that you wouldn't know about, changing your opinion because you know about it outside of the hypothetical. It's well, wait, not that complicated, hold, hold dude. May, maybe this will help clarify it for me. So within the hypothetical, I know that there's at least a possibility for a cure, right? I mean, sure. So you're okay, saying and, that instead well, of giving... Well, then, then it would come so down would to... You then, would you then look for the cure? It would come down to how likely I thought it was that a cure would be produced. Okay, but that's... <laughs> oh my god. So, so now you're changing your answer. Now you're backpedaling, which, which is, you know, kind of cowardly. Guys, just a second, okay? Uh, how how no, is I... this, like... Where's the relation between this and the thing about the end? Because I feel like we're slacking off. Right. We're slacking. Right. Great. So um, the the correlation is you don't know that a cure exists. You don't. You just don't. And you are still you are still positing that you would do that. And then as soon as like the well, the you got it. I think you're away from is, the mic. Your voice is really trailing off. As soon as the thought of uh, another solution is presented to you, you're like, oh, well, I hadn't thought of that. But I'm also not going to admit that I hadn't thought of that because you are, like, your hubris doesn't allow you to do that, which is your the same issue you have with the ant. You can't perceive that you could be the same as an ant because you're not. Your hubris doesn't allow you... No, because you... what, what I would say is that literally anything is possible, but that doesn't mean that literally everything is equally plausible. Look, that's that's not true, though. Literally everything is not possible. Literally anything that doesn't defy the laws of physics and... Literally everything um... except for things that don't agree with what I'm saying make but, my but thing again, a fact. But then again, why does no. something that's slightly the same as you is more valuable than you? No, look, because that's it's what just you're searching for, look, but I guess we can look, all agree on, on the fact that it's, it's, it's a, a math... different brain than we have, but it doesn't make it less valuable. Hold on. We need to get back to what I was just saying there. No one knows anything for certain apart from that which can be, apart from essentially axioms and that which can be directly inferred from them. It's, it's, it's all a probability game. Like even... Like, I could say there's some probability that what Christianity that is true. Mean? There's some probability that Islam is true. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if the probability is vanishingly small. What matters is the plausibility, the likelihood that any given proposition is true. Right, and, and that's why this example is so sound. Because is it plausible for you as an individual to just be like, oh yeah, I have the fucking, I have the emotional... Uh, intellectual and fucking uh, resource awareness to decide that this person is without fucking help. I'm gonna, f yeah, dude, fuck it. They're they're dead. They're dead. Fuck it. I, I'm I'm the only one in the world that fucking knows anything. I'm the smartest person in the world, so obviously I can make this decision. <laughs> I, and then I again, didn't is... say that though, man. If you were around you... for the conversation oh, that me and Ra White Rabbit had, I was. I wasn't thing. saying anything. I was there. What, were you around when we had the, the whole morality conversation? Is that really... Okay, do you want to explain, like, why that's important to you being able to... Because I, I outlined so much my thinking on all of this, and the way you're representing it is totally different than it, than I had actually represented it there. Like, the, your perception... Um... I just don't your... see what the relevance of that is, like, your, like, view on the morality is, and any sort of way in regards to you being able to tell or explain to us why, right? You are of Be more significance and value. I, I, made it very, I made it very clear in that moral conversation that we were having just how imperfect humans are and how, how limited we are in making the kinds of determinations that you're talking about. So for instance, what I told him at one point earlier. But you think that you was... can do that with an ant and saying that you are of such more significance, right? And more value than an ant, but you haven't even been able to answer that question as to why that's the case. <laughs> Guys, look, the it, it's it's fun I, I find it somewhat fascinating that we're actually debating this because I know for instance that Isaac will actually acknowledge that there's Isaac's a hierarchy. Isaac's not here, bud. Okay, no, but that's somebody else, right? I don't hold Isaac's views in regards to some hierarchy of like beings on the planet. Well, but right? we're on a forum. I mean, I'm presumably, a, I'm you guys, do you guys mostly agree I'm with different, it? 
mostly agree with what? With Isaac. Mo and what? Is all you agree with him on uh, essentially your commitment to veganism? I don't, I don't just inherently well agree with anyone just because they share a belief system with me. I, I would hope that you wouldn't, That's but I, I imagine that this behavioral was... behavioral fucking bullshit. Me uh, and Isaac I am... disagree on a lot, but I'm also a moderator, moderator in a server. I'm friends with him. Been friends with him for quite a few years now. I want you just to answer, right, the original question, which was posed to you about... In what way is your life of more si more significance and value than an ant's? You said that you had examples, but you never actually gave them. Yeah, you said you have a bunch of examples, not just one. You said you have a whole bunch yeah. of them, a plethora, a fucking handful of them, and you can't even fucking give us a single one? Could I try to answer? I want... I would well, hey, hey, guys, I mean, was dude, I... Dude, this, I don't know what happened. The app closed down. Am I back in here? It sometimes does that. It sometimes just like closes out. Okay, am I back in with all? Yeah, you are. Okay, wait. I I missed. I can't even remember if I was in the middle of saying something. Um, I just want no. you to answer I... the original question because you made you. You said that your life is of more value and significance based on like the capacity I'll, to like I'll experience to, right then i'll get to that in a moment i promise but... no you, you no 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 right like you said that like a while ago and you still haven't gotten to it you said you have so many examples I, I, but yet you have not answered I've this question yet. Various... you said you had so many examples so I, just give look, some I examples have to, i i i have to at least first have some understanding of who first some understanding of what? I, I, okay, who... you don't need that. Why can't you answer the of question? Okay, the just in the dodge. Okay, so who wait, among wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. So well, you first have to understand what our beliefs are, so you can fucking figure out what our beliefs are, so you can judge what our beliefs are, so you I will. can pose your answer to fit our belief system. That's fucking, oh, uh, dude, that's bitch made. <laughs> no, no, no this is to... just a dodge. This is just a dodge. It's not. I'm gonna a ask dodge, you again. Guys, all yeah. I... This is a dodge. I, I'm I want gonna ask to, you again, look, right? I, I would recommend not pissing. Who... I would recommend not pissing me off, right? And continuing to try and dodge this point. I would recommend not doing that. I'm sure everyone else in here in this VC that knows me that's been in the server for longer than a day would also recommend you not doing that as well. Answer the question. We've been waiting for a while, right? You kept saying, "Yeah, I'll get to it. I'll Dude, get to it," but you're not hour. answering it. Yeah. Okay. So. so... <laughs> Do you, do you guys honestly not acknowledge any hierarchy between different species? Do you, do you not acknowledge it? Hierarchy in regards to what? This isn't importance, relevant. Importance, value. This isn't, what is important to you? Moral consideration. As good this isn't an answer to what the is question. Importance? Wait, wait, wait. This isn't an answer to the question. No, because... You said I'm that your life is... I want, you to answer the, I want you to answer the original question. No, but I think that you guys actually do acknowledge much the same hierarchy that I do. And so that, what? No, and I don't. I absolutely do not. I do not. So um, there, there's your answer. Will but, you answer my question now? But there are certain zero-sum contests. There are certain zero-sum contests that could exist. I want you to answer the question, right? We... I want you to answer the question, right? Like I said, I would recommend, if you want to stay in the server, do not continue to try and dodge this point. I think everyone else that's in here would also recommend that to you as well. Don't test me. Honestly, I'm tr I'm warning you. Just answer the question. Okay, present the question as best you can one last time. Go ahead, extra thick. Are you superior to an ant? Okay, again, I somewhat take issue with the link. Nah, 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 but nah, what nah. I would. Yes or no? Do you believe you are superior to an ant? In terms of my value, yes. Yeah. Okay. What value makes you superior to an ant? <sighs> okay. Sorry, I, I keep... Can, is there any way for us to set this up where I don't have to continue holding this damn button? No. Oh, gosh. Okay. I know it's, it's frustrating. It, it's frustrating. It really believe me, is. I'm, I I'm agree. being patient with you, bud. But seriously, take your time. Just answer the fucking question. What value makes you superior to an ant? Okay, I I believe that value ultimately reduces to the quality of conscious experience, 
And I believe that that scales just, I believe it, it, it aggregates in some way. I believe that the quality of my own experience, and I believe that the quality of my own experience ultimately is going to aggregate to something. So by the end of my life, I'll either have lived a life that was worth living and it would have been better for me to have come into existence or will, or would have been neutral or would have been worse. And I, I attempt to evaluate all of that with respect to, or I attempt to evaluate all of that by trying my best. Thinking about it. Sorry, you what? I'm trying to help you. Do you do you evaluate your experiences by thinking about them and giving them value? I well, like, I mean, do you give your okay? Another question. Okay, this may help you a little bit. All right, I'm trying. I'm really being patient with you. I don't know why you're dodging so hard because it's not that complicated. Do you? Give well, have you guys had this debate values. with Isaac? Because he doesn't even agree with this. This isn't like, is relevant. This thing? isn't relevant. Stop bringing up Isaac, right? You don't even fuck. Do, do you even know him? This is this isn't guys, about Isaac. Do you even know him? I don't know him personally. I've known him for fucking three. I've known him for fucking three years. Stop bringing him up. He's not relevant to this conversation. Stop trying to like appeal to him. Because I it's imagine you wouldn't be as hostile towards him for holding this. Same it's position. not relevant. I, no, it's I, not I that. Well, you're just it's not, not answering. Not yeah, you're well, just if, 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 if Isaac, too, you if know? Isaac did this same exact thing and didn't answer a fucking question and dodged a whole bunch, so so I what's, the, what's the what's the what's the same standard? I'm what's the it. answer that Isaac gives, given that he believes? No, in like, the thing is that it doesn't it's matter. Doing, it doesn't matter. That's not relevant. Like, look, I I actually that. agree with you, but you you're just not answering. You have to answer for yourself, not answer what Isaac would say. Guys, I, I guess that we're all trying to make him say. look bad, kind of, for not for like dodging the the question. Look, but I think that's... it's more important, maybe, if he can't answer the question for you to for you guys to to explain why, like your answer to the question, and like have him comment on that. Maybe that's like a more effective right, way but and gets us further even... in the conversation. That's not what well, he's person. asking for. He's asking for someone who's not here's opinion on this fucking question. Like holy shit! And that's not even relevant. I could <laughs> no. Give I just feel answer. like there's a double standard at play here. And that... no, it's not no. a double standard. It's not. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not a double standard, right? At first, we were having a very nice, cordial conversation, right? And then we brought we we're brought into a debate crucible, dude. Believe me, I fucking hate push to talk as well. You have no idea how much I hate it. I complain about it every single time that I'm in here. But wait, wait, hate what talk? Like, what did you say? You talk, hate what? The Push to talk. Push the button. To talk. It's the setting oh, that we oh. are in. in yes, this, that you in were just complaining room. about. I'm saying that I also yeah. hate it as well. It gets frustrating. I get it. But what gets even more frustrating is when you're having a conversation with somebody or having a debate with somebody and you have to repeatedly ask a question over and over again. We probably have asked you this question at least 15 times. I mean, Isaac would never do this, right? He would never dodge a question over and over again. If he... Wait, 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 wait. If don't, he... You don't need to do that. No, I know, but he, like, he, he, I'm trying to explain to him why it's not a double standard. Right? Okay. It's not a double standard because if that... If you were... If Isaac was in your shoes, first of all, he wouldn't be dodging the question over and over again. Secondly, if he did do that, if he would agree if I started screaming at him or getting mad and frustrated with him not answering the question. So there's no double standard. Stop trying to do that kind of bullshit. Answer the fucking question. I already told you. I'm being very fucking nice to you right now. Okay, being also, very patient. Like I'll 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 try and change the question, right? With while maintaining the integrity of my question since I was the one who asked it. All right. You, <laughs> okay, I'm ju I'm just trying to say, give, man. That... Do you give your values value? Are you the one who intrinsically values your value? I think that you can apply this to anything. So I think that conscious creatures imperfectly evaluate everything. So for instance, I could be wrong about literally anything. I could think that I'm looking at a box and really be looking at a chair. I, I think that perception is imperfect with literally everything. And we form our perception both morally and objectively through, or through appeal to values. And so... <sighs> To, to push back against this idea that values are somehow arbitrary, like, I, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the arbiter of, of what is good and what's bad. And I, I mean, I arbitrate my perception of literally everything. We all have to do that. I, that doesn't, my value, values aren't only ethical. Values, 
I value reason. That's another value. I mean, it's <sighs> there. Right. So, so do you, are you, I don't think that all values are equally legitimate. And I think that I'm capable of discerning, Designing, things. discerning which value is of greater value, right? You have made that statement abundantly clear. That's my point. Are you the one who validates your values? Are you the one making the decision? I have to. Everyone is. Okay, so you are the only fucking... So why are you... But it's why... not... So then why are you more valuable than an ant? Like, you are the one who gives value to your beliefs, right? You are the yes. one who makes you think the way you think. You Right. You agree with that. Yes. So why are you better than an ant? <laughs> Gosh, man. I feel like we're just going to keep going in circles, but it's because I believe that value ultimately reduces, like I keep saying, to, to how? the quality of con. You know, what, what you really want to know, essentially, is how I'm so confident that the quality of my conscious experience is is um, yes. greater yes, than... That is, yes, because thank you, you for repeating you... the fucking question. Now answer it. God fucking damn no, no, it. No, but because do you, do you agree that the quality of conscious experience is what determines value? Because, I mean, I don't even know what we agree on that. Uh, that sounds like a bunch of fucking bullshit to help you justify. Because you think it's too hard to substantiate? And no, qualify? I think that's just, that's just purely going back to what the other person said about him asking you to explain how you view the situation so that then he can further answer your question better. I think, you know, if he sat here and he's just been, you both been Look, repeating I'm yourselves. Trying, either I'm way, trying to answer his just question. spit something out at him. He just asked me, dude. He just asked me. I, I think that's bullshit. I don't think anything has intrinsic value because of like conscious experience. I think everything experiences think that, their I life. Think any, I think oh, plants experience their lives. I think fucking ants experience their lives. I think bees experience whoa, 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 their lives. Wait, 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 Do you think that plants are conscious? Mammals experience their life. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Do you, oh gosh. I do. Wait. Okay. How, okay. How does a plant? How does a plant exist without having some amount of consciousness? I'm not even saying that they exist with a consciousness on par with humans. Okay. I'm just saying. Oh. Okay. Well, do you think that all life has consciousness, or all atoms, or all like what? Do you do you believe in um? Do you essentially... want me to define life for you and why I think that all life experiences itself? No, no, no. But I'm saying that some people take it even further and they believe that. Um, consciousness is essentially uh, intrinsic to matter itself, and then no, no, I'm not some like metaphysical fucking woo woo. Okay, hippie. but that I just, that is, I just, ha I actually, just believe that's actually, that everything that's actually easier itself. to defend than the idea that plants have consciousness. By the way, why we know that plants experience pain, we know that plants no, we know that they react surroundings. We know that no. what? Oh my god. Are you saying that humans experiencing pain is different than reacting to fucking pain? Are you fucking yes, autistic? Yes, because... Jesus fucking Christ. No, 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 because for instance, we have been able to establish that that a human being will pull their hand away from a hot stove before they so even consciously register the pain. It's purely reflexive. So will a plant. Yeah, and I'm saying that that is before the pain is even experienced. So, so will an ant. We're not no, going into this, dude. I no. don't fucking care about your beliefs on plants. I know that it's a fucking hard concept for a lot of people to get that like plants have. No, it's just it's not semi conscious. It's, it's it's not actually well supported by the scientific data. And yes, it is. <laughs> you just don't want to. I I just I just told you that. Things react yeah, without even conscious that experience. You didn't think about fully. No, I'm telling you that you pull your hand away from a hot stove before you even consciously yeah, process why does it. That so it has nothing to do with consciousness. Why does that happen? Re reflexively, it happens reflexively. Why does that it doesn't happen? imply consciousness. Not all. So activity you're saying implies you're saying that instinct. Are... You're, wait, hang on. So you're saying that instinct and reflex are non-conscious reactions to stimuli. Yes. Is that, is that what you're saying? Okay. Not necessarily that, that's instinct. That's fair. Not necessarily that's, instinct, that's but fair. reflex. So, so reflexive behavior is, uh, is a non-conscious behavior. So yes. what, what kind of behavior is it then? 
Is it well, just I'm like not a, saying your that it's not moderated system? by the well. Is I'm it your say, your nervous system responding to something? Yeah, it's it's is the it same. Is your soul as, telling you that in the future you're gonna feel the pain pains and get all hurty in your heart box if no, you it's, touch it's, the hot it's, stove? No, it's it's the same as what the brain does when it pumps blood through uh, with the heart and everything. That's what it is. Oh, <laughs> back either. I mean, every everything the brain does isn't a conscious manipulation. There's much that the brain does that's entirely unconscious, and then there's some that's subconscious. And I, I mean, activity. What, what you're essentially implying is that for anything to react to anything implies consciousness. I mean, do you think that blood cells um, that that fend off bacteria, do that I fend think off viruses, that single do you think, do you think cell organ, do I think single cell organisms, viruses, and small bacteria are conscious? Well, man, aren't you pretty? <laughs> is that no? Is that what is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Uh, no, probably not. But they behave in the same way that plants do. You're acting like the activity and no, behaviors. No, 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 no. They don't. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> yeah, they do. No, they do not. Are sperm conscious? Uh, yeah, probably. Sperm I don't have, like, the of this. Why are both of you talking have, about this? Sperm have like flagellum though and like you know aren't single cell organisms i don't know if viruses viruses might be sentient i don't fucking know extra you were complaining about him bringing his opinions but you are just doing the same thing well no he's asking me questions i'm answering his question Unlike by him. your opinion he, he is actually not doing the same thing yeah he still hasn't answered the original question I I even I even have given examples of why I hold my opinions, dude. I have given I have given examples of why. No, I hold my you opinions. haven't. You haven't given a single example. Yeah, sure, you are also just circling around the question. Sorry, who who's circling around the question? You. you. Okay, so you think I haven't properly answered it? Unfortunately. Okay, um... So, I, I, like, how are you making an evaluation well, as to why your life or yourself is of more significance and value than an ant's? It's because he has a superiority complex and he's just better than... It's not a superiority around, complex, you are not justify that not being true. I think, I think there's an issue, I think there's, a, there's an underlying issue that we're going to get to, right? We should steer towards... No, I think that this is magic, if, because if, he is a if vegan... We, he, Hold on. He has a vegan has to consume. Oh, wait, hold up. So I think even if we grant what you're saying about some kind of sentience hierarchy, that that's not necessarily going to get you to the conclusion that animals don't have sufficient agency. I know, I'm going to get like, to the sufficient. It seems like I, 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 you're fine I, killing I them. Oh, there, man. Are we really going to jump ahead? Because that was like the next portion. So, so I just want to know, do you think, just on your view... Animals have sufficient agency. Or... Well, I don't think that my ethics don't really derive from agency. I'm not sure as to whether. Well, we're I'm talking. I just I'm referring to like ability to experience well-being, the things that you were saying earlier. I'm fairly agnostic on. So you're sorry, agnostic sorry, on. You're, you're agnostic on whether animals should I'm be sorry. killed. Wait, are you agnostic on whether animals should be serial killed? In mass, I think that it it depends on many different things. I think that I would have to seriously consider the implications for humanity in terms of their level of well being. If wait, wait, but you seem to be confident enough to actually be a non vegan, right? You're actively killing them, so you seem in your everyday life that you're confident in this. Well, I'm not, I'm not, right? but I'm you're telling me right now that you're actually that implicit in it, but I won't say I'm actively killing them. Oh no. I, I think everyone would agree that you are, but, uh, how, but, like, but, how low would the bar be though? Like what, what behaviors would we expect them to not have in order for us to conclude that they don't have sufficient agency? 
because you know if they do i mean i'm sure you grant they can experience some amount of well-being absolutely i'm i'm sure so is it so insignificant that it's fine to just take them breathe them rape them stab them forever i mean it seems like this is an endless cycle so is that okay or no i i certainly Gosh, sorry, I think my finger keeps slipping off the goddamn button. Insofar as I would support any sort of animal agriculture, essentially, um, I think that... I, I, I'll, yeah, I'll, just just okay, be real with me, on, yeah. Hang on, hang on. How about, how about you take a break? Do you take a second, take a breath. Like, maybe drink a cup of water, bud. You don't have to eat the whole sandwich all at once. Man, I'm sorry, but you guys have to understand that I already, I, I was talking to uh, this white rabbit guy for like hours probably before you guys even came in. So I'm, I'm somewhat, I'm somewhat drained at this point and having to hold, having to hold this button for so goddamn long is <laughs> similarly draining. And I am you not wanna, at the peak you of my... Do step away for a second? Take a break. Well, I mean, smoke a cigarette if you gotta. No, nah, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't do that. But do some crack. Fuck it. No, man, I'm. Look, man, I, I, I just, I'm trying my best to keep this non-hostile, and I, I, look, I legitimately and sincerely. All right. What, what was the question again? Wait, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not being hostile. Am I? I, I'm just wondering. About the sufficient agency thing, if if they no, can experience. No, I know you aren't, but but some people Look, earlier I'm, were. But I'm not being hard. Well, let's, let's just get it. On, let's just get it on track. Yeah, let's just get it on track. So let's bring it full circle. So you're you brought up the. the also, thing. sorry, Pam. One second. Also, if like if you're talking about me being hostile, don't take it personally, dude. I'm hostile towards like all humans. <laughs> I know, I know, man. But yeah, don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. I'm not taking it personally, but it's still not the most pleasant thing in the world. I understand. I mean, it's, it's you know. I get it. I'm not the most pleasant thing in the world. I don't really care. I'm just no, I mean, you know, I, don't take it personally. I get it given the level of, um, given the level well, of importance you view the topic is having. But, I mean, if, if you know, if, if we were, if, I don't know. Just, I don't like <laughs> when people just dodge questions over and over again. It just infuriates I, me. I, I get that. I, I don't like that either. Yeah, and you just did that over and over again. But anyways, I just want no, to no, be but, clear. Just don't take it personally. I just want. I just want to be clear. Just don't take it personally. Right? Your best. Right? Your best sort of bedrock look, that we look, can look, all look, look, on. look, 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 look. Your best yeah. action right now is to just drop. Yeah, just don't take it personally. My hostility has nothing to do with anyone else in the room. That's all I'm trying to get to. So move on from it. I'm not speaking for everyone in the room. Don't take it personally. Just move on. You're talking to All someone right. new now that you haven't been speaking to, right? His name is Beyond. He's really fucking nice. Just relax. Talk to him. All right. It's, gosh, this fucking but Man, if, if there's any Believe way me, can... I know. Believe me, I know, dude. I fucking hate push to talk to you. I want a new kid. On the fucking computer, can you do this differently? Based. It's just, it's just the way the you server press, works. If you we're can debating, press a button on your keyboard and hold that button looking, down. Looking, it helps when there's lots of people in the room to have push to talk, so people's mics aren't just randomly blowing up, right? Or it, it makes it more well, obvious. Well, if, if I were to do it to on the, over me, like, right. if if I were to try and do it on the laptop, what what would I just have to hold the mouse click down? You can hold any any set key it to any key, and then you could like take something really heavy and small and put it on that key. Like, you could set it to the space bar, and then you could take your phone and rest it on the, the space bar. Does it cause echo, though? Uh, you, could put head uh, you could put headphones in. I just want to know why America. you're confident enough to be serial killing animals <laughs> if you don't know if they have sufficient agency or not. Sorry if my language was, like, graphic. I don't know. It could be it's, worse. But, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's just... It's okay, but, but part of it... 
part of it is that I do believe in mercy killing. So I, I believe, I mean, I have a general level of acknowledgement. I think, okay, I mean, I think everyone here like, believes in I feel mercy like his killing. question wasn't about mercy killing, though. That seems like... No, 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 but it, it conceivably could be. I mean, I, I don't... Mass <sighs> killing is, 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 is a red... not the same thing as mercy killing. It's a, it's a red herring, because we're talking about healthy, young animals, right? Who can live for cows can live for twenty five years? We kill them at like two years, right? So yeah, but that that reveals an ability in yourself to at least make some determination as to the quality of existence of the animal. If you believe that there's such a thing as mercy killing, you're granting yourself at least some authority to exercise over that which would be mercy killed, and that that relies on your. On your yeah, we euthanize. Office. Yeah, we euthanize pets who are old or, or sick all the time. But I don't think that that's the case with the majority of farm animals. But the, but the problem is that earlier I was being pushed back against even the idea that a human being, that any human being, could be capable of making any determination as to the yeah. That was with me, experience. right? This is a new conversation, right? That was with me. This is a new conversation with someone else. Not everyone holds the same fucking beliefs in here. Move on from the conversation that you had with me. Come on. Are you used to an echo chamber? It's Wait, I just I just want to know. I just want to know, like, how is it the case? Like, what's the argument that animal agriculture or the as a general heuristic is mercy? I don't. I don't believe it is. That that wasn't the point I made. I. I think, look, the, one of the problems is that I'm not sure who I'm talking to in each moment. And Just talk to me right thinking, now. Yeah, like, I'll, no, no. I'll, I'll mute them if they speak up. I'll, I'll, I'll just talk to you. So, what, so if it's not the case that generally animal agriculture is mercy killing animals, like, do you understand that that's just a diversion from the question I asked right before? Oh, sorry, sorry, say that one more time. Yeah, do you understand that it, it wouldn't even be relevant to say that in respect to the question I just asked right before? No, the only reason I brought that up because I didn't know if you were one of the people earlier who had basically not even agreed with me that, that I, that I, for instance, have any capacity to make a determination. as That's to the being extremely of uncharitable. That's not what was being discussed. That's not what I fucking said. We were talking about intelligence, and I was asking you how you would determine that. No, but you, no, but you also, one of you, one of you also said, you do you understand that like we don't all hold the same beliefs in here? No, like, but I wasn't necessarily beliefs, talking about you. I was beliefs, talking about whoever said that, whoever put. I don't think anyone said that. I think you're referring to no me in the conversation, and you're like being that. extremely uncharitable about what I was saying. Ooh. Do you understand that this is a server filled with like two thousand plus people? And not yeah, every single person holds the same fucking that... beliefs. My beliefs differ like, quite extremely from everyone else in the server, besides the select few. Uh, okay. You're I talking got to a new impression. person, right? I got, I, I got the impression earlier that it was basically that someone was trying to say that it was impossible for anyone to make a determination as to the quality of life of a conscious entity that is not themselves. It's not necessarily what I was I, saying. I don't think anyone was saying that. And the two people that you were talking to are both saying that they don't believe that that's what they were saying. So obviously, that's not what we were saying. Okay, so you think that we can make an assessment of the the quality of existence of Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me clarify the, the question to you. So I had, I just granted the sentience hierarchy Right? I mean, we could push back on that. That's the point. And it didn't seem like you could actually defend it. Presumably, Isaac would have some kind of defense. But it seemed like you were just appealing to Isaac. And no, no, no. I mean, and, and, no, and, I mean, and when pushed, right, you didn't say, I, I don't to, I could... hold on, hold on. Like, didn't It seemed like you didn't know. And like, when I don't know something, I just say, oh, sorry. I, I no, no, no. Well, I hold on. Know. No, I can't fucking know. I, I hear you, man, but the, the thing is, this is well substantiated within all of the relevant fields. Like, this isn't just some 
crazy opinion that I'm putting forward. I mean, I can not all appeals to authority are fallacious for one. That's one thing. No, I get that. But let's just move forward. So, and, but I could also I, give my own account. I just I was never given enough look, time. Look, and I can go in on let, hold too. Up, you don't up. have to. Just, hold up. Just Wait, I'm just, I just want to one. Okay. One one. I just want to. I just want to one on one with them for for a little bit. I just want to get this line of questions. Oh, and then you guys can t discuss after. So, if we're granting the sentience hierarchy, right? There might be some threshold where they don't have sufficient agency or well capacity for well-being or it's fine to just let their throat. So one might say that about a plant, right? So what's the case? Like what reasons do you have to, to think that animals don't have that? If, if you do think that, right? And, and if you do think that, okay, they're, they're pretty close to humans, right? They might not be on our level, whatever the fuck that means, but like at least killing them seems to be significant to them right so what what are your thoughts on that yeah. what's your position yeah well sorry just you cut out sorry my my brother just came in. look the <laughs> I, I, like I said, I'm somewhat agnostic on, I'm, I, I, here's what I'll say. I think that it's more likely than not that veganism is more moral than an attitude that is not committed to veganism. I think that, again, there's some level of agnosticism like there is with virtually everything in my life. Um, so it's not the primary, the primary thing motivating my lack of commitment to veganism is not just how incredibly agnostic I am on the topic. Um, that's part of it. But I think that, I mean, you know, gun to my head, like, hey, uh, after, after all the conversations in the world, would you be more convinced that you would perceive veganism to be morally superior to a meat eating. Well, I don't life. know. I don't know what it means for something to be morally superior. Like I just have these intuitions that when I see a cow rolling around in a field with playing with a ball, that I just believe that it's experiencing well-being. I I think that it's experiencing good things, I, and I, I, I don't see why I should take that away. Conscious. I think that it's ex it's complicated. I think that. It is really I, I not. Think that I may be. <laughs> I think that it's experiencing. I mean, everything throughout the duration of its life is going to experience some level of well-being. I'll grant that. It, many conscious systems also experience a great deal of suffering, and I'm not sure how much suffering can be experienced throughout the course of a life to where I would begin to say that life is no longer worth living. But there is some amount. Uh, I'm not sure where exactly I draw the line. Um, no, no, I, I, I agree, right? There's that gray area, right? But it seems like when we take the case of a cow rolling around in a field with a ball, having incredibly complex social interactions, remembering faces, it seems like we can actually make strong inferences that it is not just experiencing a very small amount of well-being, but it's probably experiencing a great amount of well-being and whether that completely is equal or is even superior to a human right we can all just be agnostic there but it seems like with just that the simple case it, like how low right so the question specifically is what behaviors would lack in order for you to actually make an inference that they don't experience sufficient Like we would construct some behavioral test, right? And we would put the cows there and we'd study their, their behavior and we'd say, oh, look, like, like, I mean, if you look in general chat right now, there's a gif of literally a cow playing with a ball and it seems like it's rolling around having a great fucking time. Okay. I, like a I, dog, right? Well, like, I, like no one would just do this with a dog. Like say, oh, this dog is playing fetch. It's tongue is hanging out. It's tails wagging. 
fuck oh, it. Okay. I'm agnostic about whether okay. it's actually experiencing enough pleasure. I'm just going to kill it. Like, it doesn't seem like we would ever do that. I, I get what you're saying. I, I, I'm not Can saying that... Can we change that... his name back to Plants Experience Pain? I, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say um, that... Oh, gosh. I'm so tired. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to remember... Uh, who who just who just said something? What was that? I missed oh, it. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's it's fine. Head. Just talk to me. Just don't pay attention to anyone else. Um, sorry, now I forgot what you just asked me. What, what so you me? there's a cow rolling around and, playing with a ball. Uh, there's a there, so there's a cow rolling around playing with a ball. There's a dog playing fetch. They're all happy. Their tails are wagging. Why would we ever come to the conclusion? Oh, I'm not sure about how much well being they're experiencing. Better eat it. Like Oh oh sorry, sorry, I remember what I was gonna say now. I was gonna say that I don't think I like I don't only evaluate the level of well being that something is experiencing based on its behavior. I mean there are a lot of there's an entire body of information I try and pull into it. I mean I try and pull into I, I try and pull into its scientific data, what we understand about the, the brain and how that correlates with, with what we experience as well being. Also behavior is a significant thing, but it's certainly not the only thing, especially No, I, I understand. I understand that. So what what but about you're... the brain, the brain stem, the central nervous system would lack and what actually is lacking, right? It seems like they have all the essential components. I was just assuming that you thought that. So if you want to, if you want to push back there, that's fine. I, I like it's the behavior components, and it's also these neurological prerequisites. But I think that they have them. So I mean, if you don't, it's like go ahead. What's the case? Okay. Well, here, here's the thing, and this may be the most inflammatory thing that I'll say here. I'm, I'm maybe not as optimistic about the prospects of conscious experience as many of you are. I, I don't know where exactly I would draw the line as to when a life becomes worth living, but I, I would probably set it much higher than um, most people would. And I now like I would even I would not be surprised if some massive percentage of humans, if it if it would have been better if they just hadn't come to be like I, wouldn't I, mean, be I, th I think this is a, I think that I think this is a total getting this is getting away from the point again because what we're asking is why shouldn't yeah, we give them lives on sanctuary hold up hold up, though, I, hold up but hold up I, so so we're asking like why should we not put them on a sanctuary and give them a life worth living like it, we're asking in theory, I, I recognize that there's a distinction between a life that hasn't come into being versus one that has already come into being, where it then oftentimes becomes more about improving the quality as opposed to just terminating it. I get that. I was just bringing that up because I think that that is somewhat relevant to my perspective on yeah, it. I know, like, I know I, descriptive, yeah, descriptively that might be the case, but we're asking right now in principle why, why ought we kill them when we know that we could do otherwise like why why should we do that action over another action again i'm i'm not as committed to this as you think i think like i was saying earlier there is some level of agnosticism surrounding it but not all that much the primary reason why i'm not committed to veganism is essentially out of one convenience and two not enough confidence that it's going to be embraced and you're you're fine with the nutrition and stuff you think it's healthy or even healthier in some cases no i i don't really it's just i i recognize that i already have an enormously difficult time getting proper I, I, it's already reasonably difficult for me to even s basically sustain myself with the food that I already get. And I know that many vegans will act like it's not all that complicated to be quite healthy on a vegan diet. But I do feel somewhat skeptical of that when I see so many 
seemingly smart people struggle with it, it is somewhat concerning. So when someone like Sam Harris says something like, oh, I went not even full vegan, vegetarian for some significant period of time, and all of these bad things started happening, and now he did say, granted, with more intelligence or more attention or more information, I could have circumvented all of those problems, but it still does concern me when someone of that of that caliber essentially puts forward an idea like that. And well, it makes me wonder, well, how much better would I be at navigating through that? And Well, the, the issue typically with vegetarians is they're just cutting out meat, but they're not adding in a bunch of other things. But the, the thing happened to me where as soon as I committed to veganism, I realized, wow, my diet is actually restricted. There's so many more plants that I could be eating. So my... For me, I actually ate, now I eat a, a more diverse diet. I eat so many different kinds of beans, whole grains, vegetables, retubers, fruit, everything, you fucking name it. Like I've discovered so many different foods now mm-hmm. just as a result. So I'll grant that it's an inconvenience to have that kind of learning curve, but it's about the motivation, right? So if you... Look but at do, enough do, slaughter do you footage, believe right? That, that basically, the everyone, either everyone or the vast majority of people, can fairly easily adopt a vegan diet and be far healthier for it. Yeah, I mean, in in respect to the standard American diet, yeah. Well, think, why, why, why is it that so many people who don't exactly seem particularly inept struggle with it? Because of yeah, I mean, there's, there's lots of there's lots of reasons pressures. for that. Uh, I think the yeah, the main reason people quit veganism is social pressure. There's just stigma about it. But why not just no, no? I meant reduce, I meant struggle right, being healthy with The cases to it. even just reduce meat consumption. Like the, the case is not even to go Real fully pressure. vegan per se. The the case is what's stopping that motivation from from even starting. Well, you know, it's funny because I actually. I think your finger slipped. What's up? Yeah. So, hey, Beyond. Do you think you're superior to an ant? What, wait, are you are you asking this to me no, again? No, I'm mm-hmm. asking. I'm asking Beyond. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm agnostic, right? Because like, it could be the case right. that if I kill the ant, that it'll have some eco- ecological impacts that actually could affect humans. You know, if you if you killed off all ants, you would probably wipe out humanity as well. So Let's I don't say know one ant. Can... Yeah, I'm not saying like. All yeah, if you, yeah. If you like ask me one to like, individual ant. If you ask me to like, like I wouldn't flip a coin on it. I'd probably keep the human alive. But I do know ants can. No, scream. no, you, not 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 oh, another me, human. Me or an ant? Yeah, probably. Like, are you superior to it? Yeah, I mean, one fucking yeah. one fucking ant. Look, I've I've had to kill ants before, and I felt really I felt horrible about it. So yeah, I, I like I chose myself. Like that's what I did. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, so I, back I mean, back to but but wait, will you answer the question? Why are you superior to an ant? Uh Wait, wait, hey man, before you answer that, I mean, can I uh can I ask him something? Um wait, so if you don't even make distinctions in terms of hierarchical evaluation between all of these different life forms then how are you even committed to a vegan diet when that is predicated on your essentially extermination of all these plants that you think have a conscious experience right like, so, i'll answer okay, so that question so the, right after he finishes answering okay so all right, all right i'm just worried he's gonna struggle with it just and, and also and also i have my my questions on the table just for like the motivations seems like what ants greater than Joshua is saying is their intuitions actually align with veganism. They just are, they have concerns, right? So at this point, all we'd have to do is discuss that, probably show some environmental evidence, probably show some health evidence. There, there are good, re- there, there are even like meal plans you can just appeal to and say, well, like, look, this well, is fine. Right. Right. So it's because not that my your, intuitions don't align your... with veganism, it's that I'm a little bit more skeptical than you on it. And it All right. What about extra you answering this question? 
Wait, I'll, I'll answer. Wait, I'll answer. No, right? so, no, so, so, so eco- ecologically, ecologically, I don't think I'm more valuable than an ant. In, in less, right? I just hope that over the course of my lifetime, I can educate enough people or I can, I can make enough impact such that killing the ants would be offset for my own existence. Cause I don't think I, I don't think humans in general have a positive impact on the environment, but what well, I would the do, environment I would is be irrelevant. Trying... That's not conscious experience. Do you well, mean on other just... conscious creatures? No, he can't. No. So my, my axioms are not the same as your axioms, right? So I, I value. Let's stop explaining that to him, dude. Fuck. Yeah, I'm I mean, sorry. okay, except, I'm well, sorry. Look, I, I value. So, okay. I, value, I, I appreciate I your answer. So, so there are things, there are things that you can do to improve your surroundings that give you more value than the ant, right? The well, ant I would, I would hope individually that, in a colony of ants can't do what you can do individually in the colony of humans, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I would hope like. Over the course of I don't know how long ants live. Like, is it like a month? Like, someone would correct like me. It's not very long. But, but like, I would hope but that even over that's the course irrelevant of irrelevant unless you're talking about how it aggregates with well-being at the end of the day. I mean, impact on unconscious systems is irrelevant. Oh, we don't, we don't, we don't have to value impacts we don't, other we don't conscious systems. Wait, but you're just assuming that we value the same things you value. No, but but I, look, I mean, like I do, you aren't I do, I do value me that you think there's value in a world with no conscious systems, right? Uh, I think that what? that I think that uh, these ecosystms do have intrinsic value. But you're talking about I, I also, ecosystems I also, I also that relate to, to life, right? And consciousness. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I, I I agree. They 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 work in tandem, right? But I but, think that these these things are I think like, they're interwoven, instance, right? So I I value both. I value both of them. But okay, but if there were no life forms in existence and no consciousness, then ecological impact wouldn't really matter, right? I mean, if or geographical destruction and you know like it's um if, if you're talking about ecosystems that aren't even conscious then that doesn't well, I, matter, I think right? you're begging the question that against those ecosystems we, we what kind of conscious. ecosystem what kind of ecosystem isn't conscious a plant-based one like I why said. <laughs> why would a plant-based ecosystem be unconscious like if you were like if you were to say if you were if you were to say like a fucking like dead mesa biome with no fucking life on it like no trees no plants no fucking water fucking acid rain nothing fucking lives there like yeah sure you could say that's an unconscious fucking the robots that we create they behave are you are you confident that they're conscious uh yeah dude sure I'm sure what? that eventually. I'm sure that eventually we will eventually, have some. I'm sure, they will, I'm sure that I'm we will have right some now, emergent behavior, and that we've that and I confident. think that currently there are robots that currently have emergent behavior and show signs of rudimentary consciousness. Yes. Can you define okay. what is conscious, conscious consciousness for you? Uh, hang on. Let me Google the definition of consciousness and sentience. I mean, consciousness is one of the hardest things to define because it becomes so circular. You end up talking about experience, and it's like, well, what's experience? Oh, it's consciousness. What's consciousness? Oh, it's experience. I mean, it's 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 something that we have a very intuitive grasp of, but it's almost pot to adequately capture with words. So, but I mean, it's it's um. It's, All right. So it's a state of personally, what it's like to be like. personally, I use I use the word consciousness wrong and colloquially, but what I literally mean is sentient, and the uh, the definition of sentience is the ability to perceive and feel things. Yeah, and that's even simple that's as the that. Even All right, that's thing. wrong then. All right. Why? How? What's wrong? Enlighten so, me. The, is are these robots are aware of their surroundings? Yes. How so? Dude, through fucking artificial intelligence and neural networks and fucking sensors, they wait, relay wait, 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 information well, let, let about something. their surroundings they're, they're, your own to brain. do programmed what? tasks. Hold on. Let, let me say, your your own brain has all kinds of programming. 
that is not conscious and right, results in right. all kinds of behavior of yours that isn't sure. conscious. Do you think that separate consciousness is operating within your own brain predicated? I don't on know. Brain, if you could you... give me a more specific definition or like an example instead of just making a vague statement about like experience uh, you go... that are fucking whatever. Before you go, are they able to make a decision? Robots? Or are they just are they just uh, following their program? Robots? Yes. Are they able to make a decision? Well, um, do you know anything about artificial intelligence or like programming languages? Yes, I do. They can make a decision in okay. the same way. No, that... no, no, no. Let me answer his fucking question, dude. Shut the fuck up. All right. Okay. Uh, do you know about like um, like? Do you know enough about them to understand how they work? Yes, right? yes. Okay, so are you gonna are you gonna say that robots that are given the agency to make a determinate decision based off of their surroundings is not them making a decision based off of their programming? Um, they are, they are 100% doing percent making a decision based off of their surroundings because of their core programming, right? Based off based off their programming, yes. Right. So, so how so can you programming? So their programming makes them make a decision. Yes. So they are just following an, an instruction. Right. What do you right. mean make a decision? You, you're assuming that they have they can make a decision. What well, they do? Because like, he said they are conscious. Like self-driving cars. Self-driving cars make decisions. No, decisions no, they are just following the instructions they're, that they're conscious and They're just following decision. the instructions they already had so in their are you. Uh, program. No, so this you. is an assumption. It's just a necessary no, it's pre- not. You it's are not. making far more complicated decisions based off of far more complicated programming, but there are base emergent behaviors that are similar to sentience. Yeah, it's analogous, sure. Can you but, bring but some evidence? It's similar. It's a but, simile, not analogous. But, so when you are talking right now, are you following an instruction? But, yeah. but I highly doubt. This is not a precondition. Yes, Const- I am. I've been programmed for fucking. Hold on, hold on. Almost thirty okay, fucking you years. Just hold, hold on, hold on. No, I have to say dude, you're just consciousness fucking... is not a necessary precondition for um, making a decision. Like that. That's right. kind of, That's just Jerry. That's, that's right. manipulating the language and bastardizing it. No, I mean, the... it's not. Yeah, you are just playing semantics over here. No, I'm not. I'm Making a decision. Defining it. Okay. Okay. Look, being able to react to your surroundings, okay, is sent. That is my statement. I already told you, reflexive stuff isn't consciously motivated and consciously I determined. Disagree. And that's a decision. When you pull I your hand away okay. from the Soviet, how do you define something as one. being? Just eat a fucking good something? plant-based burger. How do you define something as a reflex? What, sorry, what? How do you define something as a reflex? How do you define something as a reflex? It's it's behavior. Sorry, my, that is my hand reflexive. Off. No, no, no. It's behavior that is non-conscious, that is automatic. It's and subconscious. It's not of various unconscious. And... Are you kidding? Again, no one, the only thing you are bringing on the table is semantics. Core yeah, it's semantics man. Your no. core, your core. You are not adding any value still... to this this converse, Look, conversation. That's, it's so hard to have a conversation that's... with you because you're being so uncivil too. You're not even like trying to be civil with him. You just no. Okay. I have. I am one hundred percent. Alright, you should calm down. You were telling him to calm down earlier. You should calm down now. Okay, you're right. Thank you. Look, the point I'm trying to make is that just because a reflexive behavior is subconscious is does not mean that is not it is not a sentient response to your surroundings like your surroundings dictate your reflexes you don't just have reflexive behavior and that doesn't fucking, matter for no Everything reason unless right, you have like a neurological it's... disorder that... okay let's right? read the definition right. of correct the, or not the correct or incorrect it's semantics. It's correct, but it's semantic. It it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't have any re- relevance to this 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 discussion. Right. This whole fucking line of fucking inquiry has nothing to do with the fucking conversation. No, we I, I was gonna I go somewhere that, over there, I but think you that, just... 
You just keep He's... mumbling and you just keep playing semantics because you are not, you don't want to answer. I am That's answering all. the question. Actually. What was the original question? Thanks Do to you, you right now, I just, I just lost everything. All right. The original question that you asked me, the, the reason the, the that whole... I've been answering this question is are fucking plants sentient? Are robots sentient? And I said, yes, plants experience a small amount of experience, okay? They do, okay? And that makes them sentient. Robots are currently nope. getting to a point where they are, they are showing signs of emergent behavior. And yes, in the future, there will be robots that will have complex programming based on fucking neural networks that, that are that's mimicking not our fucking Okay, that's brain. your opinion. That's we don't care about It's not even my opinion. It's you like the current fucking... Without sentience. Are they ab able to self-reflect? ...behavior without any level of sentience. Okay, it they could, could. It could all be just blind clockwork. The lights yeah, could be off. Same with you. Well, from your perspective, it could be with me. The only consciousness... And no, from your perspective. From mine, I think you're wrong. No, oh, oh, I, what I thought you meant was um, that the only evidence of my consciousness is my own subjective experience of it, and that would be true. But um, it's we can infer based on a variety of things what else is conscious apart from ourselves. And I think it's incredibly unreasonable for many different reasons to suggest that current artificial intelligence displays compelling enough signs of consciousness. I mean, we may get there at some point, but we certainly aren't there thus far. I mean complex behavior isn't necessarily an indication of consciousness why not just provide your evidence for plant sentience yeah i'd like to see that too wait i'm i'm supposed to provide evidence for my belief system when this guy won't even fucking do the same yes. fucking thing he should, yes no, he, whole, because you are claiming this that this whole way. fucking this whole fucking line of questioning that has led me to make this claim was him avoiding answering almost the exact same fucking question right. you are also doing the same thing All right, so stop fine. complaining about fine. it here no no i'm not doing the same thing i'm just, you just calling ask you him, out for being okay you just ask him but i do will feel, i will feel i will post you... evidence i will okay, post thank you. scientific okay. data i will i will fucking do that i'm just saying he's fucking not done that yet so all right fucking... stop, stop talking about Harry someone has more scientific backing in our arguments i i could substantiate these claims through appealing to the authorities on this yeah much i'm better. not gonna I mean, appeal you're, to you're, the in authorities. A, you're in such a minority position on so much of this so Almost any serious psychologist, biologist, thinks that there is a massive hierarchy between different species. I mean, the, the, I, it's not even something that wait, I should have to Wait, are you defend. saying I that just... I don't believe that there's a hierarchy of sentiences? Because I've never once said that. You've just decided that that's my fucking point. I, I'm not sure if it was, uh, maybe it wasn't you. Some, no one said earlier. that. You've just been saying that people think that, dude. <laughs> No, some someone told me earlier that it, what who was who was the per Oh my goodness. I hope that there was someone who was present at that time who's still around that can defend did, did anyone hear anyone say that? Am, am am I as crazy with this? No, I think you were just inferring it. I don't think anyone explicitly said that to be fair. I could be wrong though. Okay, it certainly seemed like it to me, but I apologize if I misinterpreted it, but it 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 seemed very explicit. Are there any sources that I cannot post? Are there any sources that anyone will take issue with? An opinion piece. All right. Also, afterwards, I would like you to answer your question. Sorry, and, what? And by the way, I'm, I'm not saying that there's no possibility that, that plants are conscious. I'm just saying that it seems incredibly implausible. And the, the, certainly the majority opinion among experts with that is that they're not conscious. And in exactly. fact, there's more that... I don't know if that's actually the case. Have you looked at... There's the, actually the, more that suggests that... Have you looked at the recent research in regards to this? Because if you have, I don't think you'd be making that statement... I'm, f I'm familiar with what you're talking about. I've looked at much of that, and I feel that the some of The most recent research? 
I'm well, not familiar. I've done it within Can the I see? past year. I don't know Can how you post that research? talking about, but um, some of that that I've looked into is kind of it's a use of language that I don't agree with. So it's that's um. part of the problem. We're defining consciousness differently at times. That's one thing. Um, and some of the rest of it. Here's the thing. I actually think that it's more easy to defend the position that consciousness is some sort of fundamental building block of matter than it is to defend that plants are conscious or that. Um, you know, uh, current artificial intelligence is conscious. I think that if if your only evidence for something being conscious is some level of activity within it, then, I mean, atoms vibrate. I mean, that everything has some level of activity. That's, that's not a compelling argument. There are so many different things I mean... that lead us to believing that something is conscious. Electrons travel, sperm, uh, again, navigate with a purpose. None of that implies consciousness. Consciousness okay, even... is determined through a far more scrupulous process. No, it isn't. Um, I would just define, like, cognition. Well, I guess uh, consciousness would kind of correlate with this, but um, basically, um, how to... Information processing, right? Cognition is just the mental inf or trans uh, transformation of sensory input into knowledge about the environment and the flexible application of this knowledge. And intelligence would just be basically the ability to do this successfully. So, I mean, I don't see necessarily well, why this wouldn't be able to be applied to. I don't think that that's a, a good definition of consciousness why? or sentience. I think that. Well, I didn't say con I didn't say sen I didn't never said anything about sentience. Did Did you just say consciousness? I said conscious or like cognition, right? O okay, well, I didn't say anything about sentience or consciousness. What What's in what way do do you um differentiate um consciousness from sentience? Because usually people use sentient as a little bit more precise. And well, of course, sentience is just like. But sometimes the... people use them interchangeably. Sometimes people just say consciousness is sentience. So. Uh, I don't use them interchangeably. Uh, okay, so how do you differentiate the two? Um, good question. Um. I, I mean, it's okay if you don't have it right off you right now. I mean, they're they're they're. Well, Generally, I mean, sentience is it, just like usually it's defined as just the ability to ex have like a subjective experiences, right? To perceive things subjectively. Although I yeah, think well, that kind of the, in order the, to be the able the quality to... of having a, a subjective experience, the the quality of of what it's. Well, I don't know if they necessarily have quality typically in the definition, but. I know that it's just the ability to perceive things or have a subjective experience. Yeah, the, the okay. problem is that some of these terms like can be misapplied. So, for instance, I think that you could say that in some sense a robot does perceive things, but the perception isn't integrated into some sort of conscious network. And so it's a perception without yes, it is. any real... Are you kidding? It's... it's... <laughs> It I is. Think, there are think, examples of that, dude. I don't think that give us the examples, dude. Fucking, oh my you god, saying, dude. There <laughs> are, there <laughs> are. Fuck, dude. You said okay. You said that you understand programming, right? Do you know about like adaptive yes, learning I do. and fucking programming I do. and shit? Yes. Yeah, we're, we're all... How is I'm that not an example of I'm that? I'm literally they studying take... computer engineering. So stop mumbling about right. it and tell me about it. I'm not mumbling about it, dude. Fucking you. You are. You, you keep are asking this, this question, dude. You are you just are asking me. Do you understand? Do you understand it? I'm an, and I'm answering. Yes, I do understand. Please explain to me. Therefore, but, let me un oh, okay. uh, understand. It. Wait, are okay, you? Okay, because so, we're, we're both reasonable. So, what do you want me to explain? Programming. I, I, dude. I, oh my God. Yeah. Cool. It's 2020. Everyone See, he, has been there is using no a computer since they're. Dude, I'll fucking give you an answer. Okay. There. Please. <sighs> okay. I can't look stuff up while holding the button. So, I'm gonna tell you what I have said before. There are fucking programming fucking methods that use fucking artificial learning, dude. You 
are so Again, low. Artificial, artificial engineer, learning doesn't would you mean like to say that that is not the same thing as fucking taking information from your surrounding and putting it into an internal uh, fucking model of your surroundings to fucking make decisions based off of your core programming? Well, How is making that not decisions. The same thing? You're saying it's making decisions, but it's programmed to make decisions. Right, yeah, based yeah. off it's of its core programming. Yeah, literally, the, 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 the following part of what I said was they are responding to their programming and they are taking information from their surrounding and yeah, so maybe putting you it the into their programming. Consciousness is, because as you can see, that doesn't convince anyone. I did. I did. I no, fucking, no, no, I changed. I, I said that I colloquially use consciousness when in reality I should be using the term sentience, okay? I'm being charitable. No, but charitable. sentient is even more inaccurate. Even yeah, neither of them are, are appropriate, really. No, it's uh, not. How is it not? Well, I don't think artificial uh, learning, as you say, is a indicative of consciousness. And I didn't say that in all cases it was. I said that there are examples of emergent behavior that are starting Please to give these examples. And I made a prediction. But, I'm straight but, up but, saying that I'm making a prediction also. And you, the original question about robots was fucking, like, super un uncharitable in the first place, dude. I'm just fucking being consistent, okay? So and, give a definition for consciousness. Yeah, you are co consistently consciousness? mumbling. I don't know. I don't think, or whatever it is you think artificial no, intelligence. No, no. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let me step in for a minute. Okay, do we all agree that consciousness, that the only absolute proof of consciousness is in ourselves? Do we no, all agree on that? I disagree. That that's the only incontrovertible Wait, proof. Wait, you, so you're saying only humans are conscious or no, 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 only no, I mean, in, I'm, as an individual? Only no, I'm individually. You I'm saying you don't I am know the that only I'm example of my consciousness is that what you're asking i'm saying do you do you even believe that you know for certain that i'm conscious uh, i agree, um, I agree sure okay well i think that sure. all of that is just inference based on the fact that you're aware that you're conscious so it's it's all about degrees of probability after that the only actual incontrovertible <laughs> oh God. incontrovertible proof that any of us has of the existence of consciousness is our own subjective experience so Going forward from that, going forward from that, we make a number of other determinations about what else might be conscious, and a lot of that involves. Dude, do you realize that you dodged my question to the point that you are saying that it is more reasonable that we live in a simulation than an ant is of equal value to you, and you are not superior to an no, ant? No, no, I wasn't. I wasn't saying that that was more reasonable. I was just saying if you even granted that that is essentially true that that the only absolute proof of consciousness is um within yourself <laughs> amazing cool like is there anyone who disagrees with that everyone thinks it's all inference based on that right why do you fucking care so much what other people think can you think for yourself bud Okay, yeah, okay, extra, extra, okay, extra. Let, let, let's, I, let's, how, let's, been, let's see your answer. I've been disagreeing what? the most with anyone here. What to the same question. Ants if, and humans. If, if I, if I, if I Ants and humans? For myself, then I want to yes. Do so I, do attacked. I think that, okay, are you going to ask this question hyperbolically? Like, in reference to everything that his opinions have fucking No, said, no, same question that you asked. Same question. Am I yeah, superior yes. to an ant? Yes. No. Why? Because I don't believe that anything's superior to anything else. But do you think you have more value than an ant? Moral no. value? You don't think you have more moral okay, value? Okay, did you kill no. did you kill any ant in your life? Yes. Uh do you think you I are more I fucking murdering? hate ants. Ants like creep me the fuck out. I don't like them. Okay, did you kill them? Uh do yes, you feel dude. do you feel murdered? Do no. do you feel that Okay, so why not? According to you, they have the same value. How is this? this... Yeah. According to you, because you said it, they, they have the same value. Yeah. If they have the same yeah. value, uh, mm -hmm. either you are a psychopath yeah. or something <laughs> no, wrong with your, with your argument. 
Well, I mean, so do I, uh, do I think that an ant that crawls on me and won't get the fuck off me if I tell it to get off me, um, should not be killed? Is that what you're asking? Like I'm no, I'm asking example. if they have they have the same value with with uh, like same value with with a human being. Uh, how do you how do you justify your killing? I don't fucking like them being on me, and they won't get off me dude, when I ask them. Dude, dude. So wait, if wait, if, wait, if hold, I'm if I'm this, in front of you, one. look look, hold, hold up, hold on, up. Hold if I'm standing in front of you, can you kill me? No. Just because you don't like me I being in your face? I wouldn't kill an ant in front of me. No, but he's in your house. Look, 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 this is why I was you saying said he you doesn't... Already, okay, okay. You already if it, said okay. I if he's in my house, he if, he's in, if he's in my house, and he this will is... not leave, are you asking if I will kill him if he does yeah. not leave my house? Yes. yes. Wait, hold on. This, no. this is what I was saying earlier. If, that, if you're wait, saying no, why you are killing the ant? Because there's a lot of them. You said that they have the same value. If I was, See, if you, are I was, you are not if I was being attacked, if I was being attacked by you in my house, and as a recourse to you attacking me, my only option is to kill you, or constantly put you outside. You. No, I'm just standing. Sure. I'm just standing in front of you, just like the ant example. The ant, the ant, just standing in front of me. I already said I would not kill the ant. No, you just admit no, that you, you killed. said, you said, actually, if I have Whoa, ever man. killed Whoa, man, seriously, calm down. Come on. <laughs> you just said, I killed them already. I have killed them, and yes. Exactly. And I asked you yes. why, and you told me, you told me, because they were annoying me. They were annoying me. They were standing in front of me or something like that, right? And presumably, you wouldn't kill actually, a human you're who was merely annoying. inferring that they were just in front Exactly. Of no, Wait, you are making inferences, and no, you are making inferences. Such as? Such as... Wait, can you guys ask me the question? The reason that I've killed an ant. Okay, um... Miss, uh... Miss Interrompic. Yep. Uh, so, do you feel, uh, there is dif Do you think there is difference with a human being and an ant? Differences? Yeah, of course there's differences. Great. So, what is the difference for you? Um, I mean, in regards to size, right? They're different sizes. Ants are much smaller than humans. Um, in regards to the fact that ants have an actual ecological um, role to play, where humans do not, they're quite irrelevant. Um, the fact that in regards to this ecological role that ants play, um, I would argue they are of more value if anything rather than less value um than humans because humans are quite irrelevant in regards to ecology if anything they're more similar to a parasite than anything else um shall i keep going so your your uh, standard for the value is uh, ecological uh, benefit am i right um not necessarily but i was just pointing out differences i wouldn't say that that's what um i judge um value on uh like in regards to like individuals or species right. but you didn't, I was just putting you, out actually you didn't even ask them the same question you you're just changing the question and they answered the same question you are not you are not consistent with your answer so just, actually, just stay am. in your lane okay then ask your question exact the same way to her Unlike are you, you are, unlike okay, you, okay, she's, okay. she's, she's, are you, she's not Are you cement. superior to an ant? Is what yes. superior to an ant? Are you, are you, you yourself? No, are I'm you... not. I'm not. Okay, okay, why? Why? Um, well, superior in what way? No, I mean, I don't know. It's up to Am you. I superior in regards to me having the ability to, like, go out and, like, stomp all over them? And kill like millions of them quite easily. Wait, wait, yeah, does that make I'm you superior, superior that... or does that just make you bigger? Um, well, some people would say that that would make them superior, right? So that's the only way I'm asking, like, what you mean by super? Oh, like, superior. that's that's true. Yeah, 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 that's true. Do you think ants have a lesser value than you? No, I do not. Okay, then the next question is: I think ants are kill... of much more value than I am. Why is that? 
Well, um, if you were to kill me, right, there wouldn't really necessarily, I mean, besides my family, I guess, and some other humans, um, my cat, uh, they would, you know, possibly be sad about my death. But if we got rid of all ants, that would lead to, like, even more ecological collapse would be, <laughs> which would be the demise of humans as well as every other species. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. We are talking about one single land. What was that? We are talking oh, about just, one just single land. Just one. Yeah, ant. one ant. Not all ants. Just one single ant. Just yeah. one, one single ant. Um, if you had to choose between an ant or like me in some scenario, I would rather you choose um, uh, killing me than the ant. Right. That's for that's you. Not quite. That's not quite. I don't the question, think so. Though. Like it's about superiority. Like, are you superior to one ant? Like, it doesn't have to do with killing the ant. Like, you don't have to kill the ant just because you're superior. I just I know don't know what it what it means that, about but... like superior though. Like, just a superior like uh, value superiority. I mean, that was I, the I question that also... being asked to Joshua. But then I also don't know like what that would be based upon exactly this is a really hard topic and girl it it would be based on exactly what every what every other determination you make in life is based on you appeal to your own values and formulating your perspective on everything why is there a unique level of skepticism as in relation to your skepticism. ability to in regards to what i already said what i thought was like superior right and what I no, like, but, value and this more. is why I was talking I about I earlier. Value, both you and, and I, um, I value an ant more than I value myself. One single ant. I think that they, in regards to them being more superior in regards to value, I think that they ants are. No, no, than but myself. you're you're saying like. I don't okay, so you're saying what value should I appeal to in determining what thing is superior? Like you, why aren't you? Well, when someone asks me a question about superior? like what is superior, I don't know what you're referring to. New what you question, perceive right? it's quite vague. Look, everything, every decision you make what, in life is what predicated is on the notion to? that you recognize superiority. What is this in reference to? Like you wouldn't make a decision. What over is this in reference to? If you didn't believe it to be superior over Do you understand one. how this question is vague? Yes, it no. is. That's it's why I was. Wait, I had problem on, with on. this question. Now, now you're defining superiority as as uh, multi definitional. You're you're saying that you are superior to an ant because your 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 decision making is sometimes superior. Like one one decision you would make all the is times. superior to another, right? All the times. Well, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Not, all okay, yeah. That, that you're right. All really of the decisions are superior. That's not really what he said. What he said was more along the lines of. You have ability to have to like grade uh, decisions you're going to make, which is different to all the other stuff that he's been saying. So therefore, I am, you are, absolutely superior to, to an ant. No, that's not what he was saying. Is that is, is this your argument? Uh, yes, that's my argument. Right. So what are you basing that on? Wait, wait, hold on. I can, mean. Can I... No, 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 don't uh, jump in. Hold up, hold Fuck. up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Uh, just because, like, literally we can, you are also thinking the same thing, but you are not uh, able to admit it. So, can you prove that? And we can understand this, we can under, understand this from simple questioning that did you kill an ant in your life? And I'm sure all of you did, right? Uh, do you feel uh, guilty? I don't think so. Therefore, you are thinking the same. So, can I explain why I am thinking I'm superior? Yes, I can. But it would be my option, like my opinion. Therefore, so probably you would not you, accept. It. Can, can you can you show us? Can you show us how we think we're superior to ants and what that even means? What do, what does it mean to be superior to an ant as a definition? He means that. <laughs> He has a greater cognitive just, just, capacity just, and just, a greater... Just let, let him, just let him answer it, because it's his argument. So all right, I'm man, sure it's just me and him already went back and forth. I think we... If, all right. if, he's, if he's asserting it, you don't need to be his secretary. If he's asserting it, I'm sure he has enough of an understanding to, do, to argue his own point well enough to let him argue. All right, all right so... it's just insane to me that it should even need to be argued by... Shh. 
So I think I have the consciousness. I have the self-reflection, ability to self-reflect. Therefore, I'm much superior to any creature who is not able to self-reflect and have consciousness. Okay. Right. And how are you, is that, is that what your definition of superiority is? I mean, uh, this wasn't my question, but yes. It's really okay. ambiguous question, so I don't know. I, I but mean, yes, in, you, you in every single way, I'm, I'm superior to Anne on that. And, and. Okay. And if another creature has, I assume, self-reflection and whatever higher cognitive ability, I think you said, does that make them superior? Uh, maybe they, they might put them in the same value, in the same level with me. But I don't think there that is... That doesn't seem to make sense. So you're saying something that has... If that's the thing that you're using to grade, grade things... It seems to make sense that it should transition, that something that has more of that thing should be superior to you. Or do you think you're somehow the peak superiority of things? Uh, not really. Like it's, it's like uh, comparing a robot and a and human being. Yeah, so all I'm asking is if there was some creature that had higher amounts of the thing that you just stated, so um, self-reflection and I think it was cognitive ability, would it be superior? Uh, not necessarily, but it can be. So, it, wait, like, wait, just wait, like wait, in wait, the wait, example, wait, just like really? just like in the care? example of the, okay, just like in the example of the robot and a human being, uh, it's very simple. I don't think they have any value when it comes to conscious, like when it comes to life and everything. So the, uh, that doesn't wait, seem to have answer to... the question I asked you because you said these are the things that make me superior right to an ant so it seems to be the case that something that has more of that thing should be more superior to you but well, you haven't given me anything where that's that anything changes about that okay the that thing is you are thing. using you are using more but in this case there is no more uh, yeah, yeah. yeah so i said if it was the case that something had more of that thing would it be yeah but the, the question is wrong structured like structure is uh, not correct. <laughs> okay, then can you show me that? Or? Okay, what is more conscious? Yes, I mean, I'll what just is put more self-reflective? You. You're, 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 <laughs> I'll just put that back on to you. So if you why are you laughing more, like idiot? If you're, if you're saying if you're saying you have more ability to self-reflect and more uh, consciousness than a than an ant, then what do you mean by? So I'm I think there is no, okay, I think there is a consciousness and non-consciousness. There is no more consciousness. There is, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you mean by that. Therefore, I'm not able to answer you directly. But, so you saying that ants don't have the ability to self-reflect and don't have consciousness? Yes, correct. Okay, and how are you determining that? Uh, I'm not able to explain this. Mm. Uh, that seems strange then if you're saying that you also still have uh, superiority of this thing over this thing. Okay, let me pull up the definition, then let's go from there. Okay. Joshua, would you like to um, interject still? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was I was in the middle of typing something. Um, gosh, man, I'm I'm amazed that. Look, when whenever I pose a question, I I expect anyone who answers it to abide by their own definition of the term, of course. So if I ask any of you, like, do you believe that any of your experiences are superior to any others? I expect you to use your own definition of superiority. No, because then they're talking about each other. Not even a term other. in your vocabulary. Then wait, okay, then tell me wait. that. But. No, because then we would just be talking past each other, right? We wouldn't even, like, we would no, 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 possibly not even, hold on, me... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. If we don't make, like, have clarity when we're talking about this, right? And when you ask me that question, I want to know what your definition of superiority is that 
like you're the question that you're asking me about like otherwise what the fuck is the point of asking me a question if i don't even know what you mean by that well because i want to know what your definition of superiority i want to see if your definition you're asking me the with question. mine when it comes to superiority like if you're you... asking me the question right and i want to know what you okay. mean by this question i want to know what you mean by this word otherwise well, no, okay like <sighs> okay look here here i could answer i could ask a question like this i could say do um any of you believe that sex is a legitimate um concept and you what could ask someone, like, well, what do you concept? mean by sex it would be your definition of sex do you do you use the term is it a term within your vocabulary and do you think that it's a legitimate concept i think that that's the first step and then after that, um, before you're going to is. something else can we go back to other topic the yeah yeah, sure. yeah. So you got your thing? yeah yeah so consciousness definition i'm reading a personal's moral sense of right and wrong uh viewed as acting as as a guide to one's behavior uh, this is according to google so i don't think an ant is able to make a moral judgment of right and wrong okay. i think i think this animal is acting upon uh, his instincts it seems. Okay. Okay. Therefore, I'm. Um, yeah, and how? Do, okay, and you you think that, that humans don't act upon instincts or what? Uh, what does we that do, mean but well, to act upon instincts versus having some sort of moral uh, reasoning or what? I'm not sure that word that you used, but you said instincts versus something else. So can you just explain that to me? Uh, sure. So obviously, we have we are acting upon instincts time to time. But we are also able to make moral judgments about right and wrong. So this is this is the thing that that differentiate a human being and an an animal. So what do you mean by instincts? So instinct, like for example, um, a bird uh, knows what is going to, like what he, what he is going to do in his uh, whole life, right? He knows what is, um, what he can eat, what he can't eat, but for for humans, it's not the case. We are literally learning every single thing. Also, he don't like for animals. There is no right and wrong. So I They're just, just I just need, I need clarification on that. Do you think an, a bird is able to see, like they just a temp, like they have complete understanding of temporality and they can see their life from zero to all the way to the end and they know everything that's going to happen or what do you mean okay again i have to check the definition of instinct in order to explain uh, you clearly yeah so I give me a second Imagine hinging your argument on a word that you don't know the definition of. No, I know the definition, I, but but thanks I'm, to language barriers, as you, I'm not, as you I'm, not, yeah, I'm not trying I'm not to explain like, clear. I'm not trying to be like a dick with regards to like, uh, obviously this is your second language or something, but, and I'm not trying to be a dick in that way, but you're essentially, yeah, there just seems to be a lot of problems with what you're saying, which isn't. Like you can take your time, find out good definitions of it, and there's still going to be problems with it. But yeah, I'm not being. I would do this to someone who's who is an English major if it came down to it. It, it, it wouldn't. I'm not doing this because you have English issues or anything like that. Okay, so instinct is the natural tendency that a person or an or an animal has to behave or react in a particular way. Can you sort of just tell us why humans don't act instinctively? Um, no, I told I you. You're with regards to certain things, whereas animals are only acting instinctively. Uh, by definition, a person or animal, we are also acting instinct instinctively, but at the same time, we are able to differentiate what is wrong, what is what is right, what is wrong, what is right. Yeah. Okay, we are able to make a we are able to make a moral judgment. 
okay, and what does that mean? <sighs> what is moral judgment? Yeah, so this is your thing, so I'm asking what that means. I feel like we are just going with semantics again. No, no, so uh, if you're saying... Because it, it sounds like you're sort of tickling on free will a bit, which it's like, do you think humans have free will? Yes, we have for, uh, free will. Okay, and you're going to have to explain that out for us. So give us a good coherent um, definition and explanation, and just like a, a decent explanation of it, because I'm not sure, like complete free oh, will. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold on, man. I thought you told me earlier that you agreed w with me that you didn't uh, believe in free will, and I, I'm, I'm confused. Me? Yeah, yeah, remember that whole conversation? No, I wasn't here. Earlier was... Huh? No, that, was, that wasn't me. You're, you're White Rabbit, right? No, I'm not. No, no, I think oh. that's a different person. Who the hell is this? Oh... Uh, yeah, anyway, so yeah, it's on. Yeah, so if you can just explain free will to us and and why humans have it and animals don't, that'd be great. Uh, so again, I'm having difficulty to explain these things, but um, what I'm saying is they don't have capacity to make moral judgments. And you can know, just sort of go back into. The origin. It's just gone back a step. So we, I think you. you it, it seems to be what you're saying is that humans have free will, and that allows. And, and correct me if I'm wrong. For humans, no have free animals will also have. Respect. No animals also have free will, but they are. They don't have any capacity to uh, progress and make a moral judgment. Okay, it's not like they don't have judgment? free will. It's like uh, they don't have capacity. Okay, if you can just explain that and maybe like let us know what, what it is that you're um, basing that on. And yeah, that'd be good. So simply, I don't know. I'm just, at this point, I'm just, I don't know. Um, okay, cool. Uh, right. So, I think we're, we're at the point where you were saying that uh, it would seem to be that humans are superior to animals and it came down to things like um, cognition and um, self-reflection and ants don't have it, humans do. I'm not sure you said about other animals versus humans, um, but that came down to ability to make moral judgments, but we don't know what that is. Okay, let me post the definition of moral judgment. Then we can go about it. Uh, can you check the general chat? Uh, can't see your definition. Uh, oh yeah, moral judgments refer to judgments that have moral content. They are used to value situations, courses of action, persons, behavior, etc. Okay, cool. And how are you establishing that humans have this and, and ants and animals don't? Wait, sorry, are you saying animals in general or just ants? Animals in general. So, so no, no uh, non-human animal has, has moral judgment and only human. Yes. And do all humans have moral judgments and the ability to make moral judgments? Uh, if you have sound mind, yes. Okay, where do you draw the line for that? Human and animal. No, 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 no. I mean with, with the humans. 
uh, I'm not able to draw my line. Just oh, yes. what I'm saying, like, okay, for example, you have the judge, you have the capacity to, to make a moral judgment, and I do have, to. I have, I do have it, I do have it as well, but I'm not able to draw a line because there is no, as far as I know, there is no strict line that we can just. And is this is this grading up? Like, does this grade down, grade up? I guess so. I'm not very well read about it, but I mean, it's your I argument, know. so maybe. No, you expect me to draw a line, and I'm telling you, I'm not able to draw a line. But I know there's a. This is the difference, and you have this capacity, and I have I have this capacity, but I'm not able to draw a line. I'm, for example, I'm not able to okay. say if you your if your IQ below this below this number, you don't have uh, you don't no, have. But, but it seems like you are drawing a line, right? So, in, in the yeah. case yeah, of animals. Oh yeah, I'm so drawing a line between human beings and animals. Okay. This yes. is my line. Yes. This so is he's my asking, line. So, he's asking just for the account so, of that. Sorry. So all I'm asking is, how are you how are you judging that? Like. You seem to be saying you're pretty confident. So there must be some degree of evidence for you to think that literally zero animals have moral judgments and humans absolutely do. Yeah, because I haven't seen any example of this. You haven't seen a single Also, I haven't seen any, any, any study, any yeah, scientific dude, proof. Dude, what about elephants or dolphins so just before, or before other... Okay, what about them? Tell that. us. What's your, what's hold your, up, hold up, hold one, up. One Please. What's your, what's your criteria? Hmm. No, no, I'm not interested in them interjecting. So what what, what for you would satisfy that these creatures have it or don't? Um, can you clarify once again? Sorry. Um, yeah, so like, what, what, what is the sort of criteria for you that you you judge that animals don't have any sort of moral judgments at all um, and that humans do and I assume we could take those um, that criteria and then apply it to humans um, and say these humans do and these humans don't okay because this is literally the scientific stance on this point up until the, this day there is no evidence uh, suggesting otherwise so I don't understand why we are just pretending uh, or just going philosophical about so this. Literally, there is no there is yeah. no one single evidence uh, so, suggesting otherwise. Yeah. So here's another thing. So I need to find out what the criteria is for moral judgment. So how we're judging it, and what you know, how, how we're figuring that something does or doesn't have it, and then I need to see scientific evidence um, of the thing that you of the criteria, right? It could be that something within your criteria is being met by animals, or there may be parts of the criteria that aren't being met by humans, which you otherwise may have already just stated or, or assumed they do have moral judgment. So I'm just trying to find out the criteria. Or how, okay, how first of all, first of all, this is a like more of a philosophical discussion, right? Therefore, I'm not able to bring you any concrete evidence. Maybe because due to my my ignorance to this Hang topic, on, can but I, can if I... you have hold up, no, you can't hold up. Just, just let, let if me. you if you can bring a counter evidence or scientific proof saying otherwise, I would like to. Like, I will hold this position, and also I would like to address this uh, this gifts in in chat. Right, uh, there is no scientific don't proof. The, don't worry about the don't worry about the gifts. Don't worry about the gifts. No, yeah, but it's. It, uh, there is no scientific proof that elephants are able to make moral judgments. Uh, they being able yeah. to draw, they being able to uh, do certain things doesn't mean they are able to uh, they are able to make a moral judgment. Yeah. So for moral judgments, this is all I'm asking is what you're you're saying. I need to bring counter evidence, and that's fine. I can look for it. I might have it even, but I need to know what what the criteria is that I'm bringing counter up. Because if you're saying, here's the criteria, your assertion is that animals don't can't tick off the criteria list, 
then I can look for uh, counter evidence, right? If not, then we can maybe look at whether you, like the amount, vast amount of humans who you would assume meet the criteria, whether they actually do meet the criteria. So just wondering what your criteria is. So for example, like, are you judging it on ability to uh, perform acts of altruism or what is it? I mean, I'm taking the, I'm going by the definition. This is literally wait, the scientific stuff. Wait, I, um, I, just, I guess I need to call you out for this. You, you said that you, you can't, so just, you can't just, answer this just, mess, this, this question. Just, just, I just want, look, I just want the criteria, right? So <sighs> Fine. Just, okay. Cause you, you, instead of going to the definition, just get us a criteria for this. All right, let me see. I just think it's ridiculous that he questioned me being incapable of doing something that he also seems fine with being incapable of doing. Okay, my dude, stop whining about it and just carry on, okay? I mean... Man, I, I never... Whining. I never even got to finish having my conversation, man. <laughs> I'm just... Whatever. I I, uh, I was hoping can, what, that... What, what, what's, your, what's your argument? If we can set something up so that we, you can do it after, or we can open up another... Unless you specifically want to talk to this guy. Well, I don't, I don't know how to uh, identify the people by name because I'm, I'm, I haven't generally been aware who I've been talking to when they've been speaking, but... There was a person um, originally who was asking me a variety of questions and I asked some back and we never even really got to the point where we were able to feel that either of our perspectives were accurately represented, I feel like. And I feel like we've diverted from it so much at this point that I can hardly even remember what we were talking about. But um, because now he and, um, and this... Uh, this guy that I thought was White Rabbit, but who's apparently someone else have been talking for so long. But um... all right, cool. uh, did did was the Crucible open for you, or was it open for someone else? The Crucible was opened for him and I. Okay, so I mean, um, I've only just I've come in obviously way after, so we can uh, get you guys back in after if you want, or we can. Uh, like, we can open up a second one if you wanted to. Sure we can. Just... He's inconsistent about his belief, so... I'm so, not, uh, Yeah, just, 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 just before we get derailed... So well, derailed hang on, hang on. But just... he's saying, he's no, no, saying no, no, that look, I'm look, inconsistent. I'll let, you, I'll let you... Look, look, listen, listen. I'll let you go at it after. But I've, I've got him just where I... I just want him okay. to answer the question. And All then right. we can open something else okay. and do it for you. Yeah. What? Let me let me say some really quickly. I I figured out it was you. I I didn't reckon I didn't know you by name until now. Maybe we can just have a one on one conversation later. Maybe that'd be easier. I don't know. Um, it just seems like there are too many voices coming in. Yeah, if you want to do that, you can just go out to the backup. You don't need to. There's like ten backup channels. So you guys can just jump in there if that's what you want to do. Um, and we don't have to do anything else if that's all you guys. Uh, okay, well, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe that can just be done later then or something. Alright, if that suits. Um, uh, the other guy, uh... Yeah, I'm still looking. Okay, cool. Just let me know when you... Or, or who, who... I thought it was the Twitter assassin guy, but now I think you're the British guy or whatever. I don't, who was the person I was talking to? Can you, can you identify yourself by name? <sighs> There were two primary people, I think, um, or three maybe, but you were the one who just sighed, I think, you were, was that? You were talking to Misanthrope? Yeah. Extra Thick and Beyond. Okay. Well, uh, wh whoever i was talking with earlier I'd, I'd be willing to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with later if, if time allows but um
So, Twitter assassin. While, uh... Wow. Yeah, I moved to And myself. And I'm waiting for... Is it just you? It's not just me. There's other people here as well. Okay, are, are you taking place in several chats simultaneously then? No. What, are you, what do you mean? I just moved us here. I just opened up another to be crucible, right? You're complaining that you didn't get to finish your conversation. So I moved okay, you here. I, I didn't, I'm going to move so, okay, so the I'm two others from, that you were just saying you want to talk to, right? Okay, am I cut off from everyone else at this point? What? Am I cut off from everyone else then at this point? Hello? You're, you're cut off. Sorry, I don't, I don't know if you're cutting off, but I haven't heard you say anything. But... There's only like five other people other than you in this uh, room right now. All right, man. Give me a minute. Can you participate in multiple um, chats at once, or no? You'd have to switch rooms. Okay, but you can keep them open at the same time. Open? I don't. I don't know what you mean by open. Like you, can, you can literally where, only where you could alternate back and forth between them if you want to. Like I guess so. Mm. Everyone's gonna move here that you were talking to, so you don't need to worry about doing that. What? Oh, okay, I I, I I just wanted to clarify. All right. Do you want to like talk to like specific people? You were just complaining about it, that not being able to finish your conversation. I don't understand. He just it was whoever the three part. or four people he just earlier. Wants to be I was a part talking of the to other conversation so he can hear the other dude's opinion. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. I'm a little bit frustrated with you, dude. All right, is is it possible in this conversation to have me not have to hold this damn button? What? No. How was it that I was in a conversation earlier where I didn't have to hold this button? Because you're... Do you not understand the rules in here? No, this like is my first day. The engagement have changed, bud. Because when you're in debate crucible, the criteria for you to be able to talk is having your voice activity or not on voice activity for basically your mic settings on push to talk. That's just how the rules are. Sorry. Well, why can't we migrate into whatever kind of forum we were in earlier? I thought you were trying to debate or just want to have a conversation. Yeah, just have a conversation. There, now you can take it off. Push it off. Alright, just a minute. Push talk sucks on mobile. Absolutely, I want to fucking nuke push it off. Uh, who? Oh, oh shit. More people coming in here. <laughs> Alright. Whoever, who, hey, Saskal, you were, who, who, who are you? Can you identify yourself really quick? <laughs> what further can I do to identify <laughs> What does that mean? J just by speaking, man. Yo, you were, identify uh... yourself. No, I wasn't talking in the other. Well, I said like a few things, but for the majority, I wasn't talking. So you don't have D to worry Did about you talk me. to me at all? Nah, no, I don't know. Maybe like once or twice, but not really. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Um. Oh man, too many people are coming in here, man. I I, I don't want it to be. <sighs> I, I I don't want it to be something where where there's gonna be a bunch of talking over each other again. Um, maybe a backup channel if you want to go there. I don't know, but I don't know if these guys are willing to go there. All right. Well, everyone that that was disagreeing with me earlier, you should probably shoot me a friend re request in case uh, we don't finish, in case we aren't able to finish um, the conversation today. And because I'm not going to obviously remember your name, so you'll find me here. 
All right, well, I guess if you're regularly active, again, this is my first ever day, so the whole reason I came over was uh, me and Isaac had been messaging on Instagram, and um, he said that he wanted me to bring it over to, to here instead, so I got an account and all that shit, so it was my very first time, so...